Hey guys, I thought I'd just share a quick guide on how to get Supermodel 3 running on the Steam Deck. People always show it working, but nobody ever shows how to do it, so this is a quick guide. Firstly, you're going to want to go to the Supermodel website and just download the latest package. Once that's finished downloading, just locate the package in the downloads folder and move it to wherever you like. I'm just using the downloads folder for simplicity. Once that's done, just extract the zip file. For this guide, I'm just going to copy one of the ROMs from one of my other folders and place it into the current location. You'll just get yours from wherever you've got them. you've moved your ROMs. I'm just going to make some changes in the um, config file. It's just so that I can control the car with the uh, triggers and also turn off the netboard because I'm not going to be using that. I'll have to excuse the slow typing. I've only had the Steam Deck a couple of days and I'm still trying to get used to all the on-screen keyboards. I'll leave all the commands in the description just to make it easy for everyone. Once you've made the changes you need to, just save it and then open the Steam. Next you're going to want to add a new game at the bottom left. Just choose add a non-Steam game on that one. Next you need to locate the Supermodel EXE that you've just put in the new folder. So wherever you save that, just, just find that. Once you've located the folder, you'll need to show all files, just so you can see the .exe file, and then just click Open. If you've done that, it'll already be selected. So just, just choose Add Selected Programs. 
for this next step you're going to need the ROM path. For me I'm using Daytona so I've just got to locate the Daytona.zip file. Located it, you need to right click and copy location. Then go back into the emulator and open up properties. Once you've opened up properties just paste the path you copied into the launch options box and then choose experimental for your compatibility layer. Next you need to right click the emulator, choose manage and then control the layout. I'm using the gamepad with mouse trackpad. The next bit is quite important though, I've had to select um, the back grip settings. I want one of them mapped to the escape key and then 5 and 6, whichever one you want is your choice. But you need the escape key on there, otherwise you won't get the MVRAM saved. So you'll have to start over every time. Once you've configured everything how you like, you can always turn that off. Um, it's, it's just so you don't catch it by accident and then quit the game when you're playing. Once all that's set up, we can now test it, check everything's running. You don't need this in full screen, it's just as an example. Because when you get into the main mode, it'll into the Steam Deck mode, it'll be in full screen anyway. Then you can choose all your resolutions and everything that you need. checked everything works you can switch back to game mode if you go back into properties now and then you go down to the launch options where you pasted the ROM path that's where you can enter all your command line arguments in that way you can change your power PC frequencies and resolutions and everything. So you just added them all to the back of that for each ROM that you want. I've just left everything as standard apart from the resolution. Another thing, now you've got it all set up. Where it said supermodel.exe, you can change that to the ROM name that you want. So just change it to Daytona or Sega Rally, whichever one you're using. And then just do that for each game that you've got and add the artwork. That way you'll be able to have all of the games that you want.
Hopefully this video helped a few of you out.